one of the ways you can impact communities directly impact the, the public school system. And we want to come alongside the families, the teachers, the students to know that there's somebody who cares about them in this community. You know, not every child has safe people in their family they can go to if they're having a problem. So knowing that there's a lot of safe people at your school. You know, everybody that works here at Jefferson cares about you. They're here to help you. Um, and also there's a lot of community partners that are available as well that care about you and we want to make sure that these kids are successful. One of the biggest benefits that I have noticed coming into this school is just seeing the look on our kids' faces when they know that people are behind them and support them and willing to celebrate them. And so when you come in as a community partner, you get to see that and you get to see the looks on their faces and it makes it all worth it. Twice a year we host events that we call We Love Jefferson and all they are is making sure that any family at Jefferson that needs it has basic essentials that are being met. There was, you know, coats donated and snow pants and they're able to get out and be active and that really helps them in the classroom because it takes away some of that antsiness and, you know, because they're able to go out and enjoy. Um, same way with the food. You know, when you're not hungry, then you're much more able to focus and, and participate in the classroom. One of the things we plan to do is have a class for Ozobots. Ozobots will look like R2-D2 that, you know, the kids learn how to program with just with markers. And then that's a basic programming skill set that is applicable throughout their whole academic as well as professional career depending on what they decide to do. Unfortunately for some uh, underrepresented groups, the diet zeal that you can have a STEM career gets turned off relatively soon in their academic career. So our goal is to kind of plant seeds to show, hey, we use chemists, we use physicists. We use roboticists. And what way to be able to plant that seed in terms of elementary students is like, hey, you can use this little robot to do a lot of cool things. So we have anywhere from 50 to 70 mentors that go into Jefferson and Holland Middle School and meet one-on-one -on -one with students who just need a little extra love and care, whether that's help with academic work, like math or reading, or if it's just someone that needs extra love. And their slogan is very catchy, it's Kids Hope. An hour a week can make a huge difference in a person's life. How hard is it to give an hour a week? It's not hard at all. When Mr. Al came in, I would see that change in him, and I credit it to Mr. Al and spending that time with him. I look forward to Thursdays when we're meeting. Corbin looks forward to Thursdays when we're meeting. So it's adding value to my life and his, and it's very rewarding. For somebody who doesn't have any kind of connection to your family, to be that special and important, it, it's really cool. The passion in the hearts of people here coming together can really make a difference and impact the education of students in our community. We wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have the partnerships that we have in the community. It's been just amazing to watch, watch the growth. The change in the community's tone about this building has been huge. Now when you hear people saying, what school should I send my kids to? Um, what about this school? What about that Jefferson? It's not a, oh, don't send your kids there. It's a absolutely send your kids there. The staff is great. The kids are great, the community is great, everyone feels supported and cared for. And you can talk about one specific event and the impacts of that event, but when you put it all together, um, it's kind of like the drops of rain in a bucket, right? One drop doesn't do that much, but all of those drops really add up, and that's what these partnerships are. Like, it just adds up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're upside down, man. Yeah, you're upside down. It's still upside down. It's still upside down. What are you doing? <laughs> there you go.